Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me back in my local woods and I'm going to give myself a bit of a challenge, a bit of an experiment. So it's early morning and I'm going to head into the woods with just the camera that I'm filming on and one lens. And that lens is a 50mm. It's called the Nifty 50, it's the cheap version of the Canon 50mm lens. I've had it for probably six, seven, eight years maybe. Um, and I'm going to bring it in to see what can I do because with the fixed focal length of 50 mil it really forces you to become the tripod and move your legs to find the different photographs. This morning not really a great morning to be honest with you but nonetheless I think it will be a good challenge to be able to get out see what I can get see what I can pick out of this woods in a different viewpoint now than I've had in the past. So yeah let's go on let's see what we can get and see if we can have anything to, to challenge us to be able to deliver some interesting photos. Something interesting I've discovered now so far is I've walked past this route here and this exact tree on many, many occasions. Now granted, the wood is quite bare because we are at the end of winter, start of spring, so we will start to see some life coming back into the woods now, but I never really looked at this and thought that there was a photograph to be taken. However, when I arrived here with the 50 mil, because I'm at fixed focal length, I had the camera off the tripod and I was just walking around and trying to frame it up. And I framed up the shot pretty much exactly the same as what we see here. And by framing it up in that way, you have the base of this tree here, which starts in this area and comes across and goes off over to the right hand side and then sweeps straight up and out of the frame. And I think it's going to be a lovely photograph. There's some nice diffuse light as well on it. Now at the moment, nothing harsh to be able to deal with, but there's some interesting details within the actual bark or the trunk of the tree. And I do think, like I said, that having the 50 mil, it kind of framed up the photograph for me because I was fixed at that focal length. Now, granted, where you are at the moment is in a bit of brush, but that's fine because I'm able to get the photograph that's here. And I'm going to take a couple of different photographs actually here. I'm going to play around with the aperture because of the depth of field and such like that as well. I think I'm probably <clears throat> four meters away from the camera right now um, and it's fitting in within the frame also. but. Yeah, there's a bit that's going to be closer as well. So I'm going to use the focus peaking on the EOS R and to see, can I get the entire image sharp all the way through? I'll probably have to play around then as well with the aperture moving up away from the 1.8 that this lens will do probably up to the more traditional F11. But yeah, definitely something I think that already I'm finding some compositions that I'd normally, as I say, walk past. So yeah, let's continue on and see what we can get this morning. What's interesting now is that as I was walking back to pick up the camera, I looked in the ground and I saw what looked like uh, a bird's egg. In actual fact, it was a bird's egg, but I was wondering, had it fallen from a tree? So I had a look at it. It was actually broken on the base, but it actually was standing up perfectly within some new shoots as well. It probably looked like a bit like daffodils and such like that. So went down low with the camera again uh, at the 50 mil, changing my perspective, changing my feet and creating the photograph that I think would be nice 
I played around with different, uh, again, depths of field to be able to get something which is just purely on the egg or something that's uh, sharp as well, a bit more on the depth of field as well. But yeah, a different type of photograph once again. And I think, you know what, it's interesting to play around and force myself as well to think differently. And I am finding compositions that I wouldn't normally find. So yeah, so far, so good. interesting now is as I'm walking along here and I'm still only probably 20 feet from my last photograph but something jumped out to me here as you can see is a bit of color so it's an old rotting branch of a tree and it's covered in fungi and the fungi is a kind of a mustardy orange color and it's really jumping out to me so again using the 50 mil it's interesting to be able to move myself around and try and find a composition that works and within the branch there's a bit of a like a Y, but one side of the Y is actually broken off. So I've actually framed the photograph with the base of the branch coming up and splitting off, but one side is uh, continuous, the other side is broken. But I do think it's a nice photograph. Now, because I'm on 50 mil as well, what I've had to do is to do a number of different photographs and focus stack. So I will put those together in post, very similar to the way that I've done it in a recent episode that I explained how I focus stack my images. If you haven't seen that episode, actually, I'll link it here. But yeah, I think, you know what, this could be uh, an interesting one. It could be definitely a nice break for a bit of color anyway as well. And again, as always, you know, good to get out with the camera, good to experiment and good to explore and see what extra I can find. And that is certainly something that I wasn't expecting to find. So yeah, we'll continue on anyway here on the short path. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can find on this 50 mil challenge. Now, it wouldn't be a trip to my local woods if I didn't visit my old buddy, Mr. Barrow. And when I arrived actually today, it was in a different spot. So somebody has come along and moved it, but you know what, that's okay. It's not, I don't own it, it doesn't belong to me, but it's something that I'd hoped to come back with as well when we got some snow recently. And unfortunately, by the time I got down to it, there was no real snow left on it, but I was really hoping to be able to get it in different seasons. Now, today, um, there's not much. If you can remember in the last time I was here, we had nice colors in the background from here. We had the autumn leaves as well being collected within the barrow and it was still a nice photograph. This morning, even though I am getting nice diffused light that's coming through here, it's not incredible, but still going to be a photograph and a different photograph as well to get with the 50 mil because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it at 1.8. I'm going to have focus only on the barrow and everything else in the background is going to fade out because for me it's kind of incidental what i want in the photograph is the barrow as well itself and the background as well not really that interesting but nonetheless again you know take this photograph anyway continue to experiment the sun is coming out now you can probably see me being lit so might just take this opportunity to take that photograph as well and see do i get a different uh, type of shot with the light that's actually flowing through so yeah We'll uh, continue on here for a couple more minutes anyway. I think the rain is probably going to start as well, so won't have much time to be able to play around, but it's still okay to be able to get out for a short period of time anyway, like I said, and challenge myself. So I've come back now to the swamp area of the woods and it is extremely flooded. So the last time I was here it was frozen and I said I'd come back and see if there was anything that I could pick out. 
Now, again, you know, it's a swamp, it's quite difficult to be able to find a photograph, but I've taken a couple of different shots anyway, in a handheld way, to be able to kind of have more versatility to find something that might stand out, looking for some reflections as well within the water. We've had a lot of rain in the last number of days. Today is probably the first day that we've got a break in it, so hence why I decided that I'd come out. But yeah, to come into this swamp in a completely different way now again today, with a different lens, it's different, it's definitely a challenge, and hopefully I'll be able to pull a couple of shots in here out of it this morning. So look, I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very much, as always, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the content. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, leave me a comment below, and until the next time, Schlange Fall. Thank you.